Now I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the maintenance on the TGF 10900R. So to open the bonnet, you pull the pins, drop the bulb out there, grab your bonnet keys, special key for the bonnet, and it's one, and it'll go up. So the key things as an operator you want to keep an eye on is your coolant reservoir, make sure that's half full. And when cold, you can check your actual radiator level just by opening that cap there. Your air filter, which should be checked weekly. You just need to pop that spring off. This little bolt here, and that will come off. And then it's a cyclone filter. They're very efficient, so a lot of the debris just drops out the bottom. And then it's a bit fiddly because it's compact, and then you'll get in and be able to pull the filter out. It can be quite fiddly to get back in, but just take your time. And then just put this back on. Another important maintenance item is checking your oil. So in here you'll see two dots. You want to be about three quarters to full. Also check your fan belts. Make sure they're tight and in good condition because you don't want that failing in a in the middle of harvest or whatever. So there's the bonnet, back out. So those two basic checks should be performed daily. Oil and water, like any bit of equipment or machinery. So, uh, important thing to check if you blow a hose on your implement, so if you have a hydraulic leak, is that the hydraulic reservoir is on the front axle of 90% of Carraro, so a lot of people get confused. So to check it, is this bolt here. So open that up and your oil level should be about there. I just put a zip tie in there or something that indicates that the oil is just there or you can sometimes just see it it's easier than going to the actual bung which is in a bit further uh, we'll check the so for a back end oil leak um, the level so if for some reason you had an oil leak in the back end um, your oil levels here you just pull that out and can fill and that's the same level through that same hole. You can check your final drive oil which is on this lower bung here so that's a nine more hex. So you undo that and the oil level will be just there and they have gear all on it and then the same in the front your front final drives so, but these are on the middle screw. I don't know if you can get in there. So you have the top, bottom, and middle. Get in there. And um, same deal, that's a gear roll in the, in the final drives. Um, I'll quick brush over the greasing. Actually, at the moment, also the brake reservoir should go while well I'm doing the oils. Is, uh, located under this cover you have to undo it and get in there pretty rare that you'd need to check there but it is a good service item good item to check um, now i'm going to go over the greasing the strip that has front linkage so you want to grease everything that's moving so this front pin rear pin nipples underneath and this main cross shaft here and then standard items on the tractor are your front 
top and lower kingpins. So if you look in here, see your top nipple and your lower one right underneath. And then obviously the tractor is oscillates so the whole chassis twists so in there you have two bushes which are very important on a Carrara to grease we come around to the right side there's a forward and rear bush you'll see it in here just under here it says 150 hours so I grease it every 150 and there's another one just behind it here the most important grease nipples on a Carrara are those and will save you a lot of money in the long run if you keep greasing those weekly At the back end, it's just your standard linkage items, so uh, top and bottom of your lift rams. This one here is important, your cross shaft, same as the front of this tractor. Um, the grease nipple's just here. And then the forward of your power arms and your adjusting screws on your drop arms there. So yeah, I think that's a pretty good overview of the tractor. Also, daily you'd probably want to walk around it and just make sure there's nothing obvious that could fail during the day. Your TGF will come with two carbon filters. What you want to do is treat them as if they're a respirator or anything and that they, when they're not in the tractor, that they should be in a sealed box, like a Sistema plastic container or a Ziploc bag and treat it as an hourly use item. So just, just going back to the DPFs system, if you see this symbol on the digital, this symbol here, the DPF symbol on your dash, it means that the tractor is performing a regeneration cycle, so or doing a D DPF burn off, so you want to keep driving the tractor, or keep working the tractor, so that it will do its burn off. They happen dependent on how clogged up the filter is, depends on how much load has been on the tractor. But when you see that symbol, do not just stop the tractor because you think it's a fault, just keep driving and it will do its burn off in only a minute or so, and then it will be all back to normal and you have no symbols on the dash. And yeah, obviously you can cancel it if there is an emergency like um, dry grass or risk of fire. So yeah, just make sure your operators are aware of that system. If it does not perform its automatic burn off, it'll start flashing at you or you'll get an alarm. And there's a series of stages uh, that it, the, D, the electronic control system will go through and eventually if it's not performed, the tractor will derate and it'll be so noticeable, there'll be alarm on, there'll be lights flashing, symbol on the dash and the engine will have no power. And if anyone drives through that, then it can eventually get to a stage where the tractor will lock out of doing a manual regime. So doing it via parking it up, pushing the button and doing it stationary. And then a technician will need to come out, which will add a lot of expense. So key note is for operators to be familiar with the DPF different levels and to be uh, aware of the the cost that could come if they do not do a burn off and everything about the levels are in the operator's manual so for them to be familiar with that if you'd like any more information feel free to give us a call or go on our website www.antoniocarraro.co.nz I hope you enjoyed the quick walk around of the maintenance on your TGF. For any help or advice, feel free to contact us via our website or email me direct at brad at mcfarlanes.co.nz.